So you elaborated very well on the surgical procedure, uh, Dr. Mahipal, but what about post the surgery? How does the visual rehabilitation move? Okay, so uh, nowadays, almost every cataract surgery, from where you are taking out the cataract, you are supplanting or implanting an artificial intraocular lens within the eye, okay? Again, there is a story to this through the development of intraocular lens after World War II. Uh, an intern was watching a cataract surgery being done by Sir Harold Ridley in England. And the cataract was taken out and that's about it. The, the, uh, the surgery ended there and then the person was supposed to wear thick glasses afterwards. So the intern uh, asked out of ignorance, he said, Sir, are you not going to replace this by another artificial, by something uh, to replace this? So. Uh, Sir Harold Ridley saw a World War uh, veteran, uh, an air pilot, who had uh, a piece of shattered glass be lying in the eye. Okay. It was inert, it was not causing any reaction. Okay. And this question from the intern made him think about it, that because this is a piece of perspex, of plastic, if we mold it like the glasses of the lenses and we mold it and put it within the eye and because it is a dirt, then you may obviate the need of putting thick glasses after cataract surgery and therefore the term or the new technology that came in was called as intraocular lens. That means that within the eye, you are implanting an artificial lens. lens. Okay. And this is something that is pure part and parcel. There has been several uh, uh, kind of uh, in, in improvements in this intraocular lens technology. Now we have foldable lenses. Like I told you that the incision has shrunk. Therefore, the artificial lens, which was made of plastic earlier, perspex, the same thing with which the glass windows of the aeroplanes are made, it is now made of acrylic material or earlier of silicon, which could be folded on itself. And you can shove it through a small incision, two millimeter, and then when it goes, it opens to its full size. So therefore, we have foldable intraocular lenses, which make the incision small. Now, in the optical principles, you have these lenses which we can measure by instruments as to what should be the power of the lens that needs to be implanted in the eye by certain preoperative parameters so that the person needs very little glasses uh, for use subsequently. So earlier the lenses were only monofocal lenses, that means that the lenses would correct the distance vision but a person would still need glasses for reading. Right. Then came in binocular lenses or bifocal lenses and now we have trifocal lenses because world has changed to smartphones. So you have actually three distances. One is distance, one is intermediate, computer, laptops, etc. or phones and the third is reading. So now you have lenses which have optically been created on the same 6 millimeter platform which is the lens that is being put into the eye which give you three different focuses. So that is for distance, intermediate and near and therefore with these lenses you are reducing the dependence on glasses post-operatively. So we are able to get a patient significantly off glasses with the cataract surgery and now also you know something like uh, in the glasses you have a cylindrical power. So similarly the lenses that are available today are called as toric intraocular lenses. So you, if a person needs a cylindrical power you can even use these toric intraocular lenses which can be either of the monofocal variety or the trifocal variety. So there has been these two parallel streams which have gone. One is the technology of cataract surgery and the second is the visual rehabilitation technology in the field of intraocular lenses that you are able to give the patient fantastic vision. It's like getting a patient until of course there is some retinal pathology or some other pathology. He can see as good as when he was say 20 years old. Thank you so much Professor Dr. Mehpal Sajdeh for sharing such key insights on this very very important topic of cataract with us. Thank you so much again for your time. Thank you. Moving ahead what we understand is that with the right awareness and the right technology we can tackle the very important challenge of cataract that lies ahead of not just of India but all over the world and we can enhance the vision of India and we can do that without compromising on our life's experiences. Thank you again and thanks for watching. Follow Center for Sight and post your queries to get answers from the experts.